The highlight or the capstone of Holy Week is the Easter Vigil. It's the most glorious celebration in our church. It's the celebration of Christ's triumph over death. You can think of the Easter Vigil as a bell being rung. Dung! And then Easter Sunday, there's a reverberation of that great celebration. And what are we celebrating? Christ's triumph over death. That he said, in my Father's house, there are many mansions. And where I go, you also will be. Thomas says, how do we get there? I take you there. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. And the apostles see their Lord after going through so much suffering, so much pain, and the sadness of death resurrected. Truly, he's alive. Christ is risen. It gives them the strength to go out into the world. And that's where we get all of the writings of St. Paul and the letters in the New Testament. The apostles are unafraid to go out into the world, even facing persecution and their own death. Because death has lost its sting. It's like a bee without a stinger. What can it do but annoy you? So they go out into the world and they are so filled with grace that just people wanted to step into Peter's shadow. He was so imbued with the Holy Spirit. Because imagine this. If you knew that Jesus Christ had your back through anything and that nothing could harm you or get in your way, as St. Paul said, no trial, no persecution, no pain, no suffering, not even the sword. If you knew that not even death itself could touch you, what would you ever be afraid of? So Easter, especially at the vigil, is this triumphant cry against anything that would ever cause us to be afraid, including death itself. And so Christians line up during this night to join into our faith. And it's the night in which many of the Christians are baptized and join our community. Be there with us as we celebrate with them and welcome them in to our faith for the first time.